Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jared. I make a variety of different videos here on YouTube from gear reviews to tips and tricks and tutorials and all that fun stuff, as well as the video version of my podcast, which has been going on for two years now because I consider myself first and foremost a podcaster. And because I love podcasting so much, I'm gonna share with you the number one tool I use in Ecamm Live to record my podcast. It saved me a handful of times and I make sure this function is turned on every single time I record an episode of the Hive Podcast. So let's get into it. I've been using Ecamm Live for a while now to record the video and audio version of my podcast. If you wanna know all the reasons why I use Ecamm for podcasting, it'll be linked up top. I recently did a video going over all the reasons I love using it to record my podcast. And I think what holds a lot of people back is Ecamm Live. You don't actually have to go live with Ecamm. You can use it to just record. It's a powerful tool just for that. So let's dive into Ecamm and I'll show you the number one tool that I make sure is always turned on when I record my podcast and why I make sure that tool is turned on. Let's let's jump over to Ecamm. Now that we're in live demo mode in Ecamm, I can go ahead and show you the feature I make sure is turned on every single time I record my podcast. So let's go over here to set settings, or we can go all the way to Ecamm Live here at the top left, go down to preferences. And that's gonna bring up all the Ecamm Live preferences. We're gonna make sure we're on audio go all the way down to the bottom. It's grayed out right now because I'm recording and actually I'm recording this entire video in Ecamm Live. But if I wasn't recording, this feature could be checked or unchecked and that is record isolated audio tracks. And what that is going to do if it's checked is it's not only going to record the whole mix that you're recording. Well, let's get out of live demo mode now. Uh, not only is it going to record the entire thing that you're recording all in one track, but every audio source that's going into Ecamm that Ecamm is capturing is going to be its own audio track. And that is so important for so many reasons. For me, I like tailoring the sound of the audio version of my podcast. So I need isolated tracks to do that because if I, you know, make corrections just on the stereo track, it's going to affect all that audio. So let's say I sound a little nasally and my guest has this really nice, deep, bassy voice that is just that radio voice that we all tend to enjoy. So if I make a correction and EQ a little more bass into that stereo track for my voice, well, now my guest sounds way too bassy. It just doesn't sound good. But with isolated tracks, I don't have to mess with my guest audio. I could just mess with my voice and EQ in a little bit more bass and get rid of those nasally frequencies so my voice sounds a little bit easier to listen to. But not only that is it allows me to tighten up the audio. Maybe I'm talking while my guest is talking and I didn't want that in the final recording. It's hard to take out talking over each other in a stereo track but in isolated tracks, because everything's recorded separately, I can just cut out those points that where I was talking while my guest was talking. They don't have to be there in the final audio version. Not only that, but if you're recording with, say, something like the Rodecaster, like I do, that is already record, recording stereo track, multi-track for me, why do I need something else to record even more audio tracks? Simple answer. Safety, 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 safety. Have as many audio sources captured as possible. It's all about redundancy. I can't tell you how many times, I don't want to tell you how many times, I forgot to hit record on the Roadcaster and noticed maybe five minutes into the show and I don't want to start over, but Ecan's recording and it's recording isolated tracks. So not only is it saving me by recording, but it's also giving me those isolated tracks. There's just so many things you can do with individual tracks and just tighten up the sound of your podcast and tighten everything up and make it sound more professional and just better. That is the number one feature I use in Ecamm Live. I make sure it's turned on every single time I hit record. If you wanna try Ecamm out, there's a link down in the description. It'll save yourself 15% uh, off a subscription to Ecamm. So check it out, use the, the affiliate link and you'll save 15%. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this you know, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.